but if, if I ask you a question you don't want to answer, simply say that, okay? I don't want to discuss about family. No, 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 I'm not going to mention it. No. But mm -hmm. uh, uh, musically, if I don't ask mm -hmm. you the right question, um, mm -hmm. y you answer it as you like. Mm -hmm. We are rolling now. Um, the Symphony 99th season mm -hmm. is your seventh mm -hmm. season. In what sense will this season be different? I think uh, for me, um, with me, Boston Symphony, the relation is much longer than seven. This is the seventh season, but I, first time I came to America was 1960 as a student to Tanglewood. And uh, first time in my life, I arrived at Boston Airport from Europe, from Paris, actually. And uh, I still remember that scene from the window of the airplane. The, the announcement said, this is the coast of America. I think it was Maine. It was very moving for me. And then I arrived to Boston. I, 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 I took autobus to go to Tanglewood at 1960 summer. It's almost, what, 20 years ago. And uh, I spent uh, seven weeks in Tanglewood School. That was my first American life, and that was a Boston Symphony uh, school, you know, summer school and festival. And then I became a director, artistic director at Tanglewood about, what, 10 years ago now? And uh, then I became musical director. So my relation with uh, this orchestra is really very deep. And, uh, this year, for me, is very special because 99th season. Next year, we'll be, we orchestra will be 100 years old. And I'm very happy, I'm very lucky that I'm a musical director of this orchestra when it became 100 years old. Started, you know, long time, and then great Kusevitsky brought up and made the start of the Tanglewood. Ma Maestro Munch, like my, my musical father, Munch, uh, she taught me and he brought me to this country, and then Lein, Maestro Leinsdorf, Maestro Steinberg, then I now, and I'm the conductor, they happen to be 100 years old of orchestra, and the country, United States is uh, 200 years old, and a few more years, a few years ago. The orchestra is um, American orchestra, I'm talking a major orchestra, Boston Symphony, Chicago Symphony, Cleveland, Philadelphia, <coughs> New York, its level is so high, and we made it so quickly, what, hundred, within 100 years, you know, you know, that energy that American orchestra or American audience, symphony orchestra audience wanted to have this kind of level, I think it's very unique. People argue about just how, where Boston ranks on that scale, and the local critics don't think as well of you as some of the others. How do you feel about that? I think Boston Symphony, the, the tradition, tradition of Boston Symphony, I'm not talking today, yesterday, but tradition of this many years, very high. And uh, now, what you, wh I hear, what we hear, the Boston Symphony level is very high. Describe it. What, what is the strength of this orchestra now? Uh, you know, when you see the musician on stage, what, 100 musicians on stage, each person is a musical ability, musical knowledge, musical, how you say, traditional knowledge is very high, which is very, very important thing, uh, very rich in music. And uh, I think Boston Symphony's level uh, you know, we talk about Kusevitsky time, it's very high. That was really, you know, how many, for instance, the par example, that uh, many, many great piece comp composition were commissioned by Boston Symphony. And uh, because of 100 years uh, anniversary coming up, we researched those things, and amazing. Does uh, this orchestra have a weakness? Every orchestra, every person has some weakness too, but uh, otherwise it's not human. And orchestra is like, you know, the not the mechanical thing, it's very much human thing. Uh, some orchestra has uh, power, some orchestra has uh, color, some orchestra has uh, discipline, some orchestra, you know, I'm talking character. 
like, uh, you know, funny thing, I, I may not uh, be very good to explain this, but if you go to international airport, any airport, a big airport, like New York or Boston or Paris or London, if you see one person standing there, you may not think this is a, which nationality. But if you s see a bunch of people, like uh, 20, 30, together, pretty much well, <laughs> you find out what nationality they are, even you before you hear what they, their language is. That's, that's a character. Um, so the symphony orchestra of the city here, or symphony orchestra of the city in Paris, or London, or Chicago, or New York, has a character. And some, the character always t live together with weakness and good thing. What's the character of this orchestra now? I think this ca uh, uh, Boston Symphony always had the character of, uh, how you say, sensitivity, sensitivity, color, and uh, great musicianship. Musicianship means that they want to play music. They wanted to take this, in other words, um, it's little become a little bit more professional talk, but I hope you don't mind. The sometimes orchestra, you play every day, some orchestra become like a job, you know, work. That is a very dangerous thing in our life, you know, music. Music must be. We play music with pleasure, with, with uh, musical reason. This orchestra somehow kept that beautifully. I think this is something to do really strongly with Kusevitsky or Tanglewood audience, or Boston Symphony, this atmosphere in this building, or audience of Boston is very much musical, very, how you say, they come to this hall, want to hear good music, and so proud of the orchestra, every single person are big. Uh, in Boston, if you t take taxi, Boston Pops and Boston Symphony Hall is like uh, Red Sox. And uh, some city you go, it doesn't happen, you know? And uh, so this is why I say the, this orchestra has a character of proudness to, for our work, making music and sensitivity, color, and musicianship. That musicianship comes from those proud or training, traditional uh, knowledge. I think the, we should be proud of this orchestra. You have spoken to your orchestra. We've read in the paper about your own rededication mm. uh, this year. What did you mean by that? I wanted to reconfirm that uh, this uh, my I'm uh, now 44 years old, and uh, as a man, as a man, uh, as a human uh, body is getting old, but as a music director of great orchestra. It's uh, like a baby still. And I wanted to make sure that everybody in my group knows that my main job, my main music life is with Boston Symphony. And because sometimes, you know, because of airplane, demand of recording company or demand of some management, that sometimes natural thing that I go to Europe, I go to opera company in Europe, uh, opera theater, and uh, those things very looks very fancy or something like that. <laughs> but my real main uh, music life, major my work life, is in Boston and with this group. And uh, I just wanted to say to my group my feeling, and uh, many people knew but I just wanted to confirm that sometimes it's important for me. You spoke of having an audience in Boston that's eager for good music. Mm. Um, the critics have not been always so kind. In general, do you feel that you and the symphony are appreciated in Boston? Uh, yes. Uh, I, am, I have a kind of a, how do you call it, philosophy, the thinking about uh, orchestra is... Uh, like park, good beautiful park, never change for many, many years. I mean, the personnel may change because you know people get old, but conductor supposed to, we don't, conductor is a human being, can't live long as a park. 
So what you say is, uh, I try my best, and uh, orchestra is very rich musical thing is there, and I try as my job musical director or conductor, and uh, I come in. When I'm not good, I have to go. You know, that's all, all the history of music, symphony music, same. But if you talk about now, um, I hope I have a longer life, but I cannot have long, long as a common in Boston. Nobody has, a, you know. And uh, my job is if I keep the beautiful orchestra, Boston Symphony, always up and up and up, then I'm very happy b before I die, if I know that. Uh, I'm sure I know the orchestra music life. Music is very high uh, level art. We try every day. Or music is very hard uh, art if you're a pianist. If you play one next note, that's wrong. Or if you play one here earlier, it's wrong. And uh, some other art is not that kind of uh, stiff. Uh, the limit is not that high, hard. Music life is very hard. So what we do is every day, technically, or knowledge-wise, or f you know, all those feelings, you must go up, up, up. It's very high. We never reach that. So we try. And sometimes the critics, uh, good to have, uh, sometimes, I mean, not every day, I hope, but sometimes bad critic is good to stimulate, you know, we challenge. And let's do better next time. And uh, the attitude of musician, I think, at least with me and the group, always we want to go better, yeah? Sometimes we fail, but it's important thing is we want better all the time. And that's our life, I guess. Of course, uh, the newspaper, to me, I have a very strong feeling about newspaper. Newspaper, critics or uh, review or uh, article, very important that that will be the bridge between us and uh, between us and um, between us and the uh, audience who not necessarily come to this hall. It will mean possible audience for future. Many, many people live around this area. They read the article or review, good or bad. They read, and then they have a bridge between us and the, for them. This is very important for me. And uh, of course, good review will help more. But the paper itself, it's really important. To us. Mm. Thank you very much. His advice, and uh, I don't have that feeling. Mm -hmm. I'm very different from that. Mm -hmm. And uh, I feel like I will not change that. Good deal. Good luck. I mean, uh, that's, that's just fine. fine. Yeah, it just needs one uh, short two shot. Always hammer away. Mm. I spent Chicago. Three, three, three seasons, like every country, uh, or in Japan for 12 years. In Japan, it's more than 12. I counted for maybe more 30 years. Really bad reviews. Musically uh, or personal? Was it sort of? I mean, uh, both mixed, mixed, and uh, it's, uh, it's sometimes those things happen. Sleep I need no. to listen, Chris. No, I mean, sometimes it uh, hurts, but uh, it's not, uh, I mean, what can you do? <laughs> we have to do better, better, better all the time. And that, I think, is good. Means our profession is a very severe profession. Mm -hmm. Very severe. Whatever you say. <coughs> I'm just going to record these questions. You spoke to your orchestra in Salzburg, your own players, about a new commitment on your part this season. What did you mean by that? 
and then the second, what is the character of this orchestra now? And finally, you spoke of having an, a Boston audience that comes eager for music. Sometimes the critics haven't been so kind. In general, does Boston appreciate its orchestra? 